Hello guys, it's Brad here and welcome to another episode on the Graft to a Draft series. Now we are able to do this again today because I finally have the Onyx controller which is the basically the Xbox style controller for the PS4. So I'm hoping that that will help me uh, with the mechanics of the trading a little bit more and also with the gameplay. Um, so as you look at the screen here you'll see that we've got 65,660 coins uh, so today we'll be looking to get to the 80,000 and a half mark after we've done some trading and given the fact that we are in the team of the season at the moment I'm going to go ahead and do some uh, trading uh, relevant to the team of the season SBCs that are out at the moment. So we do have the team of the season so far Kieran Trippier in there which you will see does require a England player and then also does require a team overall rating of 85 so with that in mind and with also the guaranteed EFL tots uh, requiring an England player also uh, for an 83 rated team we will have a look at some of those 83 rated England players like Stones or Pickford see if we can do some training uh, on those um, I'm also going to then look at the uh, UCL marquee matchups that was released last night and in particular on my Trade to Glory account I was looking at special cards for Ajax or Bayern uh, because they do require two Champions League rares uh, so I was trading a little bit on Daily Blind last night just to try and make some coins so that by the time I've done that SBC I essentially do it for free uh, so we'll get into the trading today, like I say we're going to try and get to 80,500 coins and we'll go and have a look at John Stones. As always I will obviously show you the first item that I do manage to pick up and then after that it may well be a case that unless I get some amazing snipes I will just show you once we have got the 15,000 coins in the bank. Okay, so there we go, we get our first item, and that is uh, Quincy Promises UCL card, which is around uh, 4,200 coins at the moment. So we picked that up for 3,000. So that's a pretty good snipe after uh, tax there. We're going to make a grand on that one card alone. So we'll continue to go on this and try and see if we can get some more. Uh, as you just saw there, I picked up another one for 3,700. Uh, and we'll just try and see if we can get to the 15,000 coins uh, on these special cards. I did try and do some on the John Stones and the Jordan Pickford, uh, but they were just uh, very competitive. I couldn't seem to uh, even pick one card up. So I'm going to try on these uh, special cards from uh, Ajax and Bayern Munich and see how we get on uh, with those. Okay, so there we have our last card to finish off the 15,000 coins we needed. Uh, that one we picked up for 3,400. They're going for about 4,100 by now. Um, I have had some that have come in around about 3,000 or less, uh, which I've managed to pick up. Uh, we may well have gone a little bit overkill. I'm not able to tell at the moment because they're not selling instantly all of them. Uh, so as you can see, we're focused solely on uh, Quincy Promise. I've got 13 of those selling at the moment. And uh, they're all around about the 4,200, 4,100 mark, depending on how far undercut I got those cards. So with 13 on the market, you look at that, say 4,000 a card after tax, that should be around about 52,000 coins, which is going to put us to the 80,000 coin mark. I think they'll even be a little extra on the end, potentially. So that does mean that we can go and do the draft, and by the time we get through the draft, Hopefully all those were to sell. If I have to cut, the, cut a couple by 100 coins or so, it's not going to actually make a difference on any profit we would have made. But we'll go and use the 15,000 coins now in the draft and hopefully we'll be able to pick up some of the new team of the seasons. So, uh, not a fan of most of these formations here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the 4-3-2-1. Uh, it's got easy links. And straight away... I'm tempted to take Messi, but I do know there are a lot better versions in the game. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually take Eden Hazard on the left-hand side. Unfortunately, nothing great up front, but we'll take Morales because he does link in the league. See what we can get to link them both in the middle here. Probably is 
Canales looks like the better card out of all of those. On the right forward, we didn't get Messi this time. Uh, we'll take Mo Salah. See if we can get a strong link on the Liverpool down here. We haven't, but we have got our first team of the season, and he is Spanish. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take him, because I want to try this Thiago card out. Um, on my Trade of Glory, if you go and check out those episodes, uh, him or Brandt are two cards I'm looking to potentially get on there. So go ahead along there and uh, maybe even drop a comment on what you think I should get. Uh, we'll take Wijnaldum to give a link up to Mo Salah. No Premier League right back there. We have got a team this season, Williams, but he doesn't unfortunately link to anyone. Uh, we may take the Costa just in case we move Thiago over to that other side. No one in the Premier League there either. We've got another Bundesliga. I think we'll have to take him for the potential chemistry. And no Bundesliga goalie. So we'll go for Edison, thinking that we may well get Premier League on that right-hand side. There's our silver pick, so at least we've got that one out of the way, and we do actually have a player from Paderborn. Um, interestingly, Paderborn centre-backs, good to snipe, uh, around about six or 7,000 coins. You can often pick ones up for about three or 4,000, so it's definitely a method to consider. And then I'm going to take Schultz just because we do already have Bundesliga on that side. I'm going to see if I can get a Bundesliga goalkeeper straight off the bat. And unfortunately not, we've not got anyone from a decent league there at all. So I'm going to need to be looking for him in the reserves, really. Um, got Coutinho there who links up to Thiago for some chemistry. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take him. There we've got a goalkeeper, I haven't really got much choice, I'm going to have to go ahead and take him to give us the chem. So that means now that all my defence are on full chem, which is brilliant. So we just need to focus on the midfield and the attackers. And that is a perfect start. I think I'm going to go ahead and take Burkamp because he will actually give chemistry to both Mo Salah uh, and Morales if I do... Um, uh, sorry, not Morales, uh, Hazard if I do manage to get a... Uh, Real Madrid player in that midfield which I have and I've got Renato Sanchez so, uh, sorry uh, Marcelo so I'm going to stick him in the cam there like I say that gives him full cam uh, Hazard up on the left there uh, means I'm struggling in a couple of other places but one icon would sort that out don't know if I can turn Messi down again so I'm going to have to take him this time See if we can get a better centre back. We have got the best in the team of the season so far in Joe Gomez. So Premier League centre back would be quite nice now. We'll take Lightman for a potential change in this round a little bit for the chemistry. I'll just um, just go ahead and have a look at that now actually. So if I was to put the Costa there. Gomez in there, and then Hummels in there. Yeah, that means Berkey and Hummels do still have full chem, and Joe Gomez, Wijnaldum, and Lauten. Obviously, we will sub out uh, all our full chem as well. So actually, it's not a bad starting team. Obviously, Hummels is a little bit slow, uh, but we can always replace him for DaCosta or maybe even play Schulz at left back. Uh, we've got another Bayern Munich link there, but they're all right mid or left mid, so they won't have great chemistry at left forward. Um, I'm going to take Salvio for a super sub, because he looks like a decent card. We've got Garuncha again, I don't think I can turn him down a second time, and he will give Marcelo full chemistry, so yeah, I think we'll take him. And then... I can't see how we can't take team of the year Mane this does pose us with a problem how do we fit him in the team and get him on full cam we to have a little bit of a juggle around and see if I can do that I 
Okay, so the best I could do to get Mane in and get him on full chem is to put Wijnaldum on the left-hand side. It means I've got to move Lauten from right back to left back, which has him off chem. Uh, but it does mean that I could just sub on Schultz. So he'll sub on for him straight away. I may have to use Hummels, but we'll see how it goes. Um, if he does start to cost me any games, then I will sub him off. But it means we can have Marcelo in there. He's off chem slightly, as is Thiago. But the whole of the defence, other than obviously the right back playing left back, are on full chem. And the forwards are all on full chem. So generally I'm quite happy with that. Got some good subs down there. And we'll go and see if we can get ourselves a manager just to up the chemistry for those in the middle. So I think, in point of fact, that is perfect. Brazilian from the Bundesliga means Marcelo and Thiago get that little extra bit of chem. And it does mean that we go up to 99 chemistry. Uh, on a what I believe was a 91 rated team was that it was indeed so 91 rated team with uh, 99 chemistry and we get to try out the team of the season so far Thiago and the team of the season so far Joe Gomez so that's uh, that's a good good team going into these games what I may even do is drop Burkamp down uh, into the central uh, centre mid position uh, take Wijnaldum out and maybe put Messi or Salah up front uh, but we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll get into our first game okay so here we go into our first game and as always uh, has been the thing with this series we are up against more icons than we have in our own team again uh, prime moments Barnes, prime moments Burkham, prime moments Petit and uh, Prime moment centre back. I guess that's Baresi potentially at the centre back position there. So yeah, it looks like a fairly good team, but you know we've beat some in the past. So let's see if we can do it again. And there we have it there, a bit, a bit of luck on our side there, but we do manage to get the first goal with Burkamp and we are 1-0 up. I um, had a couple of really good chances early on where I hit the post, uh, probably won't feature in the highlights, but um, Thiago's dribbling uh, is really making the best chances in this midfield. Uh, he just moves on the spot so quickly, he turns in circles really quickly, so uh, managing to get um, Mane and Burkamp away really well. And there we go again, a lovely 1-2 uh, between Garincha and Burkamp, and we are 2-0 up. Um, hopefully we'll encourage a bit of a quit soon so we can get this draft on the way, but so far, loving the, the controller, um, as it's a lot sim more similar to Xbox, so I'm navigating around it a lot better, um, and this team is actually really quite good. And there we are, we're 3-0 up now, a lovely finish with Beck. And he has paused it, so hopefully this is going to be our first rage quit to get into round two. Uh, yeah, generally just the link-up play in the forwards is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm getting, creating a lot of opportunities, as you'll see. I've probably um, had a, probably seven or eight attempts on goal. I think he's maybe had one, which is a bit of a pot shot uh, with Burkamp. Going to see if we can check that out on the uh, match facts there. No, so actually it says I've only had four shots. Uh, one of them I did hit the post, but I've definitely had more shots than that. Um, I even had one that gave me the deflection, so there's uh, been a few more shots than that. But yeah, as I say, one shot for him uh, that was off target was a pot shot. Doesn't look like he's quitting, so he wants to continue, so we'll carry on. We are 3-0 up, and uh, hopefully we'll be into the second round. Well, he's been a bit lucky there, uh, managed to get the ball off our defenders. I tried to pass it out a couple of times, uh, but it just fell back to Burkamp. So he has got one goal back. Uh, so I think we're probably further away from the rage quit than we'd like to be now, as he feels like he's probably back in the game. But I feel pretty comfortable. Okay, so we're in at half time there. We are 3 1 up. I'm going to go ahead and make a sub. Uh, just take Wijnaldum off, he's being an 84, 
uh, normal rare card. He's not really cutting it uh, in the middle there. So I'm going to go and bring Messi on and um, yeah, just give us a bit more sort of dribbling, a bit more passing options in the middle and see if we can uh, get us through to the second round. There we go, straight away uh, into the second half. We are 4-1 up with Burkamp scoring his hat-trick. Lovely little one-two pass and he uh, brought his keeper out so I could just square it across to Burkamp for the easy tap in. So yeah, back to being comfortable. But it doesn't look like he's going to quit anytime soon. So we've gone 5-1 up, um, for some reason he's just decided to stop playing rather than quit the game, um, which is a little bit frustrating, so yeah, he's passing the ball out and throwing it out with his goalkeeper, but he's not actually trying anymore. Uh, so it looks like we're going to go through the motions and we'll see you in the second round. So he did finally rage quit after not trying, so we do go into the second round. Um, I don't know why he didn't do it when he paused the game a couple of goals before that uh, rather than just not move his players at all um, but we do finally get there we don't have to play the full game out in the 68th minute he's finally quit and we go into the second round as you saw there we got some coins there so some of those players have sold uh, we'll go and check that out at the end just to make sure obviously everybody has sold that we needed to or if we need to relist some just to get those 40,000 coins, uh, extra 40,000 coins there uh, to make the 80,000 that we needed from the start of the episode. So we're up against this team, it's not so bad, he's got another team of the season so far in Bentecourt, I don't really know what he's like, uh, he's obviously got Van Dyke at the back who's always a pain. Uh, Prime Icon Moments, Michael Owen I've heard good things about and obviously Prime Icon Moments, Ronaldinho with Future Stars Valverde in the centre mid there. So that looks like a fairly good team, um, probably a similar on par to level of ours. So we'll just see uh, what the guy is like. So we're going at this one at half time at nil nil. Uh, as you can see there I've had a lot more chances than he has. Unfortunately, um, Van Dyke at the back is just sort of muscling out everybody and uh, generally just across the pitch actually his players seem to have a lot more physical than mine, seem to be muscling the ball away quite well. We've created a few good chances um, but his Larissa has saved uh, uh, the ones that have sort of been the closest to being a goal. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the way the team's going at the moment so we're just going to carry on and see if we can finally grind that goal out. So unfortunately we are 1-0 down, uh, nice little through ball through to Michael Owen and for some reason with Hummels being at the back there he's just not got the pace to be able to muscle him off to get that uh, get that ball back off him. So uh, yeah unfortunately we've had a couple of good chances at the start of this as well but again uh, been muscled out by, I think one of them was actually Valverde in the centre who's been sort of muscling us out um, as we almost immediately go 2-0 down. Um, yeah, probably be concentrating on that bit rather than talking to the camera. Um, but yeah, 2-0. Um, yeah, a couple of chances out of nowhere, really. It's not really gone with the flow of the game. Ah, and an absolute calamity of an error from Berkey. Uh, sees us 3-0 down. The momentum has completely changed in this when I 4 0 down out of nowhere. Um, I felt like he wasn't even really in it in the first half uh, with these sort of chances, uh, and now suddenly uh, the game's completely slipped away from us. Uh, we'll see if we can maybe get one back, but if not, this probably will be the end of our run in the draft. We hit the post, uh, I think, for about the second or third time in this game. Uh, it's just not going our way, unfortunately. I 
and with that defensive error, I think we'll call it there. Um, yeah, from going up the other end, nearly getting a goal back, we've had a couple of chances where we've hit the post today as well in this game, um, to suddenly going down and conceding another goal. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this one's going our way. So we'll get into opening the uh, rewards for losing in the second round. Seems like it's a thing for me at the moment on the PlayStation. I can't seem to get past the second round. Um, but yeah, we'll go and see what the rewards have got us. And obviously, I'll show you those items on the transfer list to show that we did get up to what would have been 80,000 coins. Will now be 65, obviously, after entering the draft. Okay, so here we are, we're on the transfer list. And as you can see, pretty much every single one of these has sold, apart from one there at the end, which has got four minutes left for 4,200 coins. But every single one of those has sold. Leads us to 67,000. So we did, as I thought, actually go a little bit over on the amount of players we needed to trade, as this will bring us to 71,000 coins. And we only needed to get to 80,000, whereas this will be essentially 86. Uh, but that's good. We got all the trading we needed to do just on the promise on the uh, UCL cards there Daily blind was there as well, but he was getting sniped a little bit more I think it's because in the SBC there's no left wing position So people are trying to get the ones that are in the position for the extra chem But actually if you put promise onto a left forward He gives seven chem towards the chemistry of that SBC So actually it's just as good and a lot cheaper than buying daily blind But we'll go over we've got the three packs to open for our rewards for today uh, we'll first just go and open the silver players pack i don't anticipate we'll get anything in here however obviously the efl are uh, tots cards at the moment so any of the efl cards we may well get a tots card in these lower packs uh, but we go and open the silver pack there and don't get anything of note by the looks of it uh no nothing from any of the top leagues uh so we're just going to go and quick sell all that for the 1370 coins We'll go and open our gold pack, see if we can maybe pack as an EFL tots or even better would be handy. Uh, but we don't even get a rare player, so that won't be in this one. So we've got Naldo, don't know whether he's going to be worth anything. Mm, just about 600 coins there maybe. Unfortunately there it looks like we did get an English uh, Nottingham Forest player, but not Cash, who is currently in the, uh, the promotion. Uh, the team of the season promotion. I don't think this is worth anything either note. So again, we'll just quickly put them down to discard quick sell those items for 900 coins And open our final pack the premium gold pack our best chance of getting something and unfortunately that is a non rare as well We have got a uh, Conan ball card there doesn't look like it's going for anything But I'll just list it up see if we maybe get some bids on that card. Uh, we've got a German league player there Maybe around about 600 coins. Nothing for the Belgian League, nothing for these as well. So the camp a centre forward though might be worth some money. Yeah, we're going to go and put that up for around about the 4k mark. So that's actually not so bad. That looks like that will sell for us. We'll discard the rest for the 830 co 813 coins. Uh, it takes us down onto the transfer market. So we'll just see, we've sold, yep, we sold the camp centre forward, sold a couple of them golds, we've also got Promise selling as well. So by the end of this episode, we'll essentially, will have got the draft for free because we will have our 80,000 coins that we started with to go into the next draft to a draft episode. So hopefully I uh, will have um, some more videos up on the channel soon. I'm hoping to do one of my uh, Foot Eliminator episodes as well. We had some technical difficulties in trying to do some this week, um, but we're hoping to try and get that away again to do. Uh, there'll obviously be another episode of Graft to a Draft. I have gotten the trade to Glory uh, that I was doing the objectives towards Chiram. However, I didn't realise that they aren't on for the full objectives. They are just on for the extra two days I think that are left off the team of the season for the EFL and the community. So it's unlikely that I'm going to be able to do those objectives. I don't play the game a whole lot, as I have said, to grind those objectives out. Um, but as always, please smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe and share the channel. Uh, the more subscribers to get, we're more likely we are to get a collaboration with someone to be able to take part in the series on our channel. And that is ultimately what we are trying to do. So I've been B-Rad and thank you for tuning in.